In fact, Charlotte's secret is going to surprise everyone. Someone from Emmerdale's past has come back specially for today. John Middleton played village vicar Ashley Thomas for over 20 years. Most people refer to me as Reverend Thomas, or Ashley if you prefer. Ashley, isn't that a girl's name? When I heard about this commemorative event, I absolutely wanted to be part of it. And after nearly two years away, John is back with a special task to deliver today's armistice speech. I want to get this right. I don't want to do a disservice to the people who lived through this. Everybody made a sacrifice. Not a single person came out of the First World War unscathed. By the time the armistice was finally agreed, well over 700,000 British troops had lost their lives and more than 1.6 million were wounded, mentally and physically. On Armistice Day itself, over 10,000 men were injured before the 11 o'clock ceasefire. With a devastated nation grieving the loss of a generation, it was hard to celebrate. In places like Eschelt, residents looked to their vicars, the centre of their villages, for guidance. John wants to find out about the vicar who served the parish around Eschelt. He's come to one of the MOD's largest training grounds, Catrick Garrison. Albert, hello, John. To meet military priest Padre Albert Jackson at his Garrison church. Please, have a seat and let's, let's have a discussion. Yes, yes. It will be a very powerful occasion and a very moving occasion, John. <laughs> I, 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 I do not envy your task. No. I have here a photograph of a chaplain from one of the villages close by, the Reverend Wincott. Living only two miles from Eschelt, at the outbreak of war, 40-year-old Reverend Richard Wincott had been ministering his parish for nearly 10 years very typical of a lot of vicars at the time. Yeah. Because their uh, church members had gone and joined the forces, they said, actually, I want to go to where my flock are. Right. And if that means at the front, so be it. In 1914, there were only 117 army chaplains serving in the forces. But by 1918, Reverend Winkup was one in over 5,000 leaving his wife Matilda, four children, and his pretty Yorkshire parish behind. He joined his congregation in the 6th Battalion West Yorkshire Regiment on the Western Front. But it wasn't just the terror of battle the clergy of the front line were forced to face. The role of the Padre was not just working in the hospital, yeah. not just going to the front, but also writing letters home. There are two letters for you to read. Okay. I hope it will be of some consolation to you to know that the regiment to which your son belonged has done magnificently in the recent engagement. Your son has died a very honourable death, and this is a very great thing to do. Yours very truly, R. Wincup. And it says here, less than six weeks later, he was writing again to the same family. Yes. Oh. Yeah. I can't imagine what it's like to do that, the responsibility and just the task of it. It is moving, because every word you put on paper, it's a loaded word. It has to be relevant, but it has to bring comfort as well. Yeah. So those are important factors that you need to try and wave into uh, your speech for that day. 